हेलो जी कैसे हैं आप सब और इस वीडियो में हम देखेंगे पावर बी आई इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन आज कैन डिलॉइट ये क्वेश्चन मुझे मेरे एक स्टूडेंट्स ने भेजे भेजे लिंकड पर तो मैं आप लोगों के संग सारे क्वेश्चन शेयर करूंगा फिर हाउ टू आंसर देम इन एन इंटरव्यू जाकि आप जब भी कोई भी इंटरव्यू में जा रहे हैं भले वो डिलॉइट का हो या नहीं हो बट ये सारे आंसर्स आपको बहुत ज़्यादा हेल्प करने वाले हैं ओके सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्ट so first question is uh, tell me about the project so how you will answer this question so first of all for example i ha you have created sales analytics dashboard i spread headed a sales analytic dashboard project for ma major retailer the primary goal was to consolidate disparate data uh, uh, data sources into a unified one interactive dashboard that would provide actionable insight into a sales performance what all are the data data sources you can tell them like i have a inventory management system i have a crm database i have, i have a ecom data uh, platform from where i am getting the data then i use data integration in power bi desktop to connect these various data sources the data was then transformed and model using a power query editor and what all are your kpi so for example sales growth top performing products sales by region profit margin customer acquisition customer lifetime value all these are the kpis in a sales dashboard okay uh, then we have the visualizations so we uh, utilize various visualizations such as bar column chart for comparing sales across regions and products line charts for tracking sales trends over time so guys whenever you are answering any question in an interview please try to tell them with the use case okay card visuals for displaying key metrics like total sales and profit maps for visualizing sales performance by geographical location matrix tables visuals for detailed data drill down what what is the outcome you have to tell that identify underperforming regions and products optimized inventory management based on the sales trends improved marketing strategies by understanding the customer behavior and make data driven decisions to improve overall sales performance okay uh, and guys uh, if you are not following me on instagram please follow it because uh, follow me because i'll be uh, giving more resources on instagram reels okay so if you are not following it i uh, you can just see all the reels i'll put the link in the description and also on the uh, linkedin i am posting the pdf so that you can learn about more about the data analytics the interview questions and also from instagram uh, when you comment on any other any reel you will get the pdf in your inbox okay so, now the next question is which visuals do you use most in your project and why so bar column chart easy for comparing categories card visuals for simple kpis matrix and tables for drill downs and detail views and pie and donut for quick category promotion okay so pie and donut is basically we use whenever we need to see how much from the whole so from uh, 100% how many are male how many are female or who are buying our products use case is bar charts for sales seasons cards for total sales and table for transaction detail second question they have asked is power bi desktop versus power bi service and what are the gateways so desktop is like for our report creation for our developers okay for data modeling service is for sharing collaboration and scheduling our refreshes and gateways is to secure connector for our on premise data to our cloud uh, report so build in desktop publish to service update daily via gateway for real time company dashboard okay third question they have asked is dates between versus dates in period so dates between return dates in literal start to end range dates in period returns a rolling date so whenever we have to do last month last last five month remember that we have to use dates in period okay use cases ytd filter uses dates between trailing 90 days analysis use dates in period so if you want to do ytd dates between if you want to do uh 90 days 30 days one month like that dates in period okay how you handle role level security so here you have to tell about both role level security static and dynamic so static is basically you are assigning roles by department uh with the help of user principal name uh, uh sorry 
directly doing uh, the filters on the power bi and dynamic is basically with the login email so how you will uh, compare the login email to the user principal named x okay so hr sees only their department and sales manager sees only their region so rls is very very important concept in power bi because it provide uh, the security to our report okay largest then they have asked that largest data source you have connected to a cloud database with 10 million records use direct query and incremental refresh to smooth the reporting this depends on your project also but i have given you the generic answer here what your approach if your power bi pbix file is slow so check and reduce the visuals optimize dax okay filter and aggregated data remove unused columns and use import mode because it's fast when possible okay so split the large table remove unneeded visuals and aggregate for summary insights okay and guys if you're not uh, I haven't been subscribed to my channel please subscribe to the channel because i'll be posting more on power bi sql data analytics and ai on this channel so if you are not for uh, subscribing not following me please subscribe to it and also put down in the comments on which uh, topic you want the next video okay cardinality what it is type you have seen so one to many most common is like uh one cu uh, one customer can have many orders customers to order many to many products um uh, one product can have many promotion one many promotions can have many products okay so like that one to one is rare basically one passport can have only one user and uh, one user can have only one passport so fact table versus dimension table and we need to explain it so fact is basically a quantitative a transactional data in which we have all the numerical values like sales and orders and all are foreign keys dimensions is basically a categorical descriptive data products data regions all these are okay uh, how do you handle many to many relationship in power bi okay so we have to use bridge table i have created one video how to create a bridge table so if you haven't watched it please watch it so we have to create a bridge table to resolve our power bi many to many setup carefully model to avoid double counting okay types of join in power bi so basically all the joins which we can do in sql we can do in power bi uh, we have to use the merge option left right inner full all options are available and we used to use merge okay then what's the difference between a dashboard and a report this is also very very common question so dashboard is basically to show high level kpi view example see you get summary cards only a report we have the multiple pages so that we can drill down on that analysis okay so we can do the analyst analysis on that pages then we have uh, the question like what is the calculated column and what are the measures and when to use which so calculated uh, column is basically static value per row measures is basically dynamic calculation depending on the filter so whenever you have to use aggregation you have to use filters on your report use measures and whenever you want to do some calculation use calculated column and which is fast um, uh, measures basically are fast and do not take space in our model that also you need to say calculated column take space in our model okay then they've asked about the workflow in power bi project so this i have already told in one of my video as well like the whole work structure that you can tell uh, but the first is like we have to understand the data we have to do the modeling then visualization then testing then publish to the service we have to set up a refresh gateways share and collect the feedback from the users and enhance the report so what are the biggest technical challenge you have solved in power bi so in one of my report there are 10 million records i have optimized the report performance via incremental refresh tax optimization and data modeling so you have to tell like this how you implemented drill through so we have added drill through page by specific column like customer ids users can right click a value to open details in a report page what's your practical use case of bookmarks so bookmarks are basically uh, used to switch between different report views also 
or you can create a navigation pane summary versus detailed hiding showing filters button for storytelling all these you can use it through the bookmarks okay how do you optimize power bi reports for big data so i've used import mode if possible so i'll set up incremental refresh i'll minimize visuals on each page use summary tables aggregate at source and apply filters and remove unnecessary columns and tables okay guys hope you love this video if you want this pdf i will give you the link to download uh, from from the description and also please uh, like follow me on instagram and uh, linkedin because i'll be giving free resources so that you can learn and apply in your interviews uh, apart from that we have a amazing whatsapp community data analyst community i'll also provide the link in the description you can join that whatsapp community to get the updates from me okay hope you like this video if you like this video please like it and also comment uh, what are your learnings below this video so that i know that you have learned something from this video and tell me the suggestions for the next video as well thank you so much jai hind